Baz for coming to uh, the end of your first 12 months at Fleetwood Town as development manager. How have you enjoyed uh, the first year? Yeah, it's been, it's been really good. Yeah, really good. Of, um, obviously, the way we're getting two or three lads through into the first team squad, I think it's been more beneficial than we, we ever imagined it was going to be at the start of the season. Uh, we've came a long way since um, the 2nd of July last, uh, last summer. Um, we were still sort of scrapping and scraping to get a, a squad together, but we managed to do that. Um, and we certainly, we've, we've come a long way from our first pre-season friendly last year against Kef and Druids, where we're throwing bodies together, throwing youth team lads together, and, and not done any work on any any team at all. And it was, um, yeah, I can remember getting beat three 0 that night and thinking we'd a long, long way to go. But obviously now in the last the last few weeks, I think it's um, it's proved that we've. Um, We've recruited really well and, and got some some great lads here, and uh, we've went and obviously beaten a few academy teams and Premier League academy teams in the, in the recent weeks. And it's, the season's finished on a on a high relay. It's been excellent. Talking about them results, quite some famous results really for Fleetwood Town to go to Aston Villa, to go to Liverpool, to go to Burnley. Yeah. And, and pick up wins, you know that's a, you know results that all the fans even can remember. <laughs> yeah, it is, and it's um, it's obviously great for the lads to get these wins. We always go on about the, the result not being the most important thing. At this level, and um, performances are the, are the most important thing, and developing these lads are the, are the most important things. But obviously, when you find yourself in a situation where you're winning games, you uh, maybe five minutes to go, you try try and see the game out and, and try and get the victory because it, it definitely gives the, the lads a boost to um, obviously get a win against teams like Liverpool, Villa, Burnley, all Premier League teams. So um, it's been nice for them. But ultimately, the the goal is to to try and push these lads into the and the first team squad as quickly as possible, so the, the performances are more important than the results. And you've seen some of them lads push into the first team, Nick, Ash, Tyler, for yeah. example. Uh, it, must, it must bring you with pride to see those lads uh, going into the first team and making an impact. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm obviously really proud to see them step up and make their debuts and stuff. It's um, basically the way I see it, I try and like get them ready to, to go into the gaffer's training, really, and, and make sure that they're not lagging behind or anything like that. So. Fitness, really, really big on fitness, and, and make sure they're they're, um, they're fit enough, strong enough that when they do step up and, and train with the first team squad, that they don't let themselves down. So yeah, that that's the way that I've tried to look at it. Obviously, um, we try and play the same way as the first team, uh, which helps as well because when they step up to the gaffers training, they know the positions inside out. Um, so yeah, that, it's, it's, that's basically the way that I've tried to do it, and um, to see the lads progress and. Um, other ones be involved, travelling with them in squads and uh, bigger keel right. Um, Keanu's travelled, um, Josh Green travelled, um, Green. So they've all been in, in and around it, and it's um, it's been nice to see. Going forward now for the development squad, uh, what what's the future for, for you guys? You go you go away for a bit now and then come back in, in July. Yeah, well, we, we the, the lads all will start pre-season starts yeah for, uh, first day of July, but we're, we're we're hanging on to this group for a little bit longer. The first team have, have finished obviously their, their season finished last Sunday, but we're trying to hang on to these ones for an extra two two weeks just to to make sure they they don't get too long off uh, to make sure their fitness re- uh, levels are going to be right before they leave. And then we'll give them programmes to, to go away during the summer and uh, to work on things. And um, I've just said to them that it's, it's really important that they go away and, and make sure that they come back flying on the 1st of July. Um, I mean, the, the, the gaffer's looking at, at younger players and bringing them through. So I've said to them all that the chance is going to be there um, and probably depending on how they come back on the 1st of July will determine possibly which group they're in come, come the, the first day of pre-season. If they're um, if they're flying that first morning, then um, the gaffer might just might just take them up and then they could train with them for a little bit. Or if they're not at, at it and they're not at the standards that, that are required, then they'll stay with me for a little bit. So um, the, the chances for these lads are, are there. So um, and the gaffer will be looking at them closely. The gaffer said um, this week that we're looking at maybe that younger player. Uh, so it looks <laughs> like the development squad, the first team, could be working a lot closer again next season. Yeah, I mean, to be fair to the manager, he's he's, he's been very close in amongst the development squad. He's came to probably every game. He said he was going to do that last summer to me when when I was, he was um, speaking to me about taking the job. He felt he felt it was important, and I felt it was important that he was there watching the lads. But he stuck to his word. He's always been there watching. Um, he's watched back some of the, the clips and videos, so he, he does take a really keen interest in these lads. And um, for a, for a young lad in a development squad, that's got to be the, the key that. The managers watching them, and the, the chances there to impress them every every week. They try and impress me every day in training, and he asks me every single day in training who was at it, who wasn't at it. So he, he takes a, a really keen interest in it, 
and the chances next year with a younger first team squad are going to be are going to be great for these lads. So it's all in their hands. So we'll try and help them and push them as much as we can. But deep down, it's, it's really how much they want it. That this first season back at Fleetwood uh, as a coach has been how you hope it how you helped it go. Yeah, definitely. Um, back down home with the family as well, which always helps. Um, the, the wife and kids have been pleased to see me after a year up the road in Scotland, but it's um, that's helped being close to the family um, back down uh, back down this way. And um, the help I've had from the manager, from um, Chris Lachetti, David Lucas, all the staff, the physios, Luke and Joel and, and Tom, the, the, the physio at the development level, um, all the staff at Fleetwood have been great with me. Um, Steve and um, Craig Madden and Mark Bowley with the youth team set up, they have helped massively, obviously pushing lads through. Um, Connor and Matty Williams have made the step up from them as well. So. Um, it's the, everybody has really helped in this and settled me down for what is basically my first year in coaching, first year in the job, which can be can be pretty daunting. But um, everybody's helped me out massively. It's, it's been great. Talk about Conor and Matty. They've, they've signed into the development squad for next season. You've also managed to keep Cano and Harvey Hall as well into yep. that squad. Yeah, we've. Um, I'm delighted for Conor and Matty. Matty uh, Conor got told a wee while ago. Matty was a little bit longer. We just wanted to see how he progressed over the last sort of six weeks and um, but he, he done really well in the games that we played. Um, he's a really hard worker, Connor the same. Um, I like both of them just basically because of their attitudes. Um, they give me a hundred percent every time they train, every time they play. Um, and that's basically what, what we're looking for, people that are going to run their socks off for you. We add, add that little bit of ability and quality to that and then we might have a player in our hands. The other two that you've mentioned, Harvey and um, Keanu, um, they had a year basically to, to try and win themselves another contract and they've, they've done really well. Really pleased for the two of them. Um, in the last few weeks they've, um, they've taken on board everything that we were trying to get into them and they've, um, they've done really well. So happy to see them sign. Um, and we've recruited another two or three which no doubt you'll still all hear about in the, in the coming weeks when it's announced. But um, we've tried to recruit really really quickly and early this, this season. And, so that we've got a nucleus of squad to, to hit the ground running when we come back on the first of July. So overall, really pleased with what we've got. Finally, I'm sure I'm sure you'll be busy now, won't you, over the summer months, getting ready for that first of July. Come yeah, back. that's it. Still looking at players. Um, we'll go through training regimes. We'll speak to to everybody um, and the staff, the physios, um, analysis, uh, Mike and Jake, and, and people like that. What more can we do to to add to this group? So. Um, it's it's just sort of tweaking probably a few few little things to give the, the lads the best opportunity to progress. So um, we'll look at that over the summer and um, looking forward to, to starting again and looking forward to getting in new training ground when it's ready. That's that's going to be a big help as well when we're at we're at our own base and we can work the boys as as long as we please. Um, so yeah, it's it's exciting times and I'm, again I'm looking I'm looking forward to a break but I'm looking forward to getting back. Cheers, Pat. Thank All you. Right, cheers. Right. cheers.